Hello, welcome to Health Matters. My name is Sherry Gallant. I'm with Alberta Health Services. And we're in that time of year when people are making New Year's resolutions and trying to stick to them. And quite often, for a lot of people, um, tobacco is an issue that they want to get out of their lives. I'm with Megan Haru. She is a certified tobacco educator, among, and she wears many other hats too, but in this context, Megan knows everything there is to know about uh, quitting smoking. <laughs> w when this happens at this time of year, what, what are some of the things that motivate people to want to stop using tobacco? Well, we know motivation can be huge when people are trying to cut down and keeping their motivation at the forefront of their mind. So, you know, I'm always surprised to hear what people's motivations are. Sometimes they're really unique, but there are some really common ones. We hear a lot about financials, and especially after Christmas, finances can be tight, and, you know, smoking's not getting any cheaper, cigarettes are not getting any cheaper, and so finances can be a huge motivator for people. Um, in our quick kits, we have these little wheels that can show people how much money they spend on cigarettes um, in one year, one month, five years, and ten years. So they can scroll to kind of how many cigarettes they smoke a day, and it shows them how much money they're spending over time. Give us an idea. If you, Say if someone smokes a pack a day, what does that cost in a month or a year? Well, let's say someone's smoking about 25 cigarettes. Um, it depends on their brand, of course, and, and what they're choosing to smoke, but on average it would cost them about 350 $53 in one month, all the way up to um, in 10 years, we're looking at almost $43,000. Wow, that's like a retirement plan. Right, and that can or, be or hugely a car motivating for people, right? And you know, they can use that extra finances um, or that extra money if they quit on rewards to reward themselves for what a great job they've done for their health and, and giving up smoking. So finances can be huge. Um, the other thing that we see a lot of is the health benefits of quitting. So lots of people are concerned about the health consequences of smoking. And when I'm talking to clients, I like to focus more on the health benefits of quitting because um, our bodies are amazing things and they start to repair themselves almost right away. So if you look at this chart here, even in as um, little as 20 minutes, your blood pressure goes back to what it was before the cigarette. Um, your pulse rate goes back to normal. Um, within a few hours, eight hours, your oxygen level in your blood goes up. 72 hours, your lung capacity is starting to increase. All the way up to 10 years here, where your risk of dying from lung cancer is cut in half. Your cells are um, healthy cells are replacing precancerous ones, and things like these can be really motivating to keep in mind when you're quitting. So just imagining that your body is repairing itself and um, getting healthier by the day, by the hour, by the month. So we have um, many groups coming up here in the South Zone, namely um, in Lethbridge we have one starting on February 1st. In Medicine Hat we have one starting on January 17th. And then we've heard that um, there hopefully will be one starting in Crow's Nest Pass and in Fort McLeod. So um, we encourage people to register early because those are already filling up for Lethbridge and Medicine Hat. And they can register by visiting uh, www.albertaquits.ca. Thank you for watching. This has been Health Matters. I'm Sherry Gallant with Megan Haru.